Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and in this video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress 4.8 which has just been released and it's June the 11th 2017. So it has been released if you want to try 4.8 WordPress 4.8 you can definitely go on wordpress.org click download WordPress and then hit here download WordPress 4.8 okay and save it wherever you want to save it I already have downloaded it you can see it here uh, on the desktop here it is okay I'm quickly going to extract so I'm going to extract it on the desktop itself okay let's go back here if you want to use any different server you can definitely use I'm going to use XM so make sure you are running Apache and my SQL okay and I'm going to close it it is running in the background you can see it here so these are a few servers that you can use uh, WAMP servers which is very lightweight for Windows especially for Windows so go to wampserver.com and this is really good server so it's very lightweight so definitely if you have you know limited resources on your computer definitely try map basically this is for Mac users but it's available for Windows as well okay so it's a very user friendly you can use it it's available freely with limited features you can see free map map pro okay you can try this this comes with a lot of new technologies okay like nginx path oh, okay forget it so you can download it it's freely available on for mac and windows uh, this is cross platform basically xm this is from apache this is available for windows linux and mac os as well so download it and install it and make sure you are running apache and mysql okay so this has been extracted to this folder and i'm going to minimize that and here you see now you have to locate the HD docs folder if you're using XAMPP on your computer. So go to C drive XAMPP and HD docs. Here is the folder. Okay. Now, okay. If you see, I already have downloaded, created a folder here, which I'm going to delete. So all you have to do, either you create a folder here, name whatever you want to. Okay or you simply drag this folder okay over here all right so i'm going to delete the folder that i just created so this is the folder that i dragged from this folder to HD Docs. okay now this has been there what do you have to do you have to create a database so to create a database make sure your server is running go to localhost okay slash p php my admin okay php my admin if you can see it here is that there and then you have to create a database i'm going to create a database you can click click on databases or click on new here i'm going to say wp new okay and then you have to click create this has been created you see WP new when you create any database it creates a username okay that's a root with no password with all the privileges and the local host host name is local host so these information is going to be used username host name and the password which is nothing there's no password right now okay so everything is running you simply close it you can keep it if you want and then you go to localhost slash the name of the folder so wordpress that's the folder that we created now we are going to install wordpress select your language and continue it says you need these information database name username password and host okay you can also play with table prefix click on let's let's go database name wp new 
uh, root, no password, localhost. You can change the prefix if you want, and then you click submit. Run the install, and this is going to take a minute here. So we, I'm going to name it WordPress 4.8. Username is going to be admin. Password is going to be admin. Okay, a weak password. That's fine. This is local machine. Confirm the use of weak password. Your email address. If you want to give your personal, you can give. I'm going to discourage search engine submission, and then you click install WordPress. Now it's going to take 30 to 40 seconds maximum. Okay, and then you have to log into the dashboard area. Okay, so it's almost done here. You can see, click log in. So this takes you to this page, Word, localhost slash WordPress, sorry, WordPress slash WP admin. Okay, and then admin the username and the password click log in so this is your wordpress 4.8 you can see this has been installed on your computer you can try a lot of things this is the wordpress event and news okay so you might get this news for your local wordcamp city now so let's go ahead and visit the website so this is WordPress 4.8 comes with the same 2017 theme installed on it. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe for my channel. Goodbye.